so I've just but got back from B and Q. I had to pick up some more os um worked up oil for my oak works up in the kitchen because it's been six months or probably more than six months since I last did it and it's looking a little bit worse for wear so I bought that and a new cloth from b and and then I went to Boots to do my holiday shopping because next Tuesday I go on holiday which is very very exciting and I can't quite believe I just spent £100 on, cosme on like cosmetics and toiletries and stuff but anywho um, I needed a couple new bubbles because my ones for work are looking a little bit worse for wear um so i bought a couple of bubbles and then i bought some shampoo and conditioner for home so technically those two aren't involved in like the holiday thing and then i absolutely love these spiral prawn cocktail crisps and i haven't seen them for years so i had to pick up a packet of those even though they're ridiculously expensive at £1.25 ho ho and then because obviously i hadn't had dessert after i had lunch because i went out I was feeling like I needed chocolate, which I definitely do not, but I've got a big bar of caramel chocolate. So that will be for later. I need to put it in the fridge actually, because it's nearly melted. And then the last thing I got that's not for holiday is a new face wash. This is the face wash that I have been using since I was literally 12. Um, I swear by it, but this is the one that is the normal size because they didn't have a travel size. So I've had to try a different um different what's it called face wash right so let's get into the toiletry so of course i had to get sun cream no point getting um travel size sun cream because it's just so much cheaper to get the bigger size so i've got two big sun creams i've got a factor 50 face sun cream and then i've got a travel size after sun because then i can just leave it there and throw it away i've already got a big one here left from jamaica i've got an insect repellent i have oh back to sun cream I've got like a lip balm sun cream and then for the shampoo and conditioner I've always liked blonder hair and apparently this one is very similar to the anti-frizz um formula but it's just got citrus in it to make it go lighter so I've tr got those to try so that's my shampoo and conditioner and again I'm gonna leave it there when we're done I've got a travel size toothpaste this is my normal toothpaste so I've just got a travel one um, I usually keep a travel one on hand because obviously you don't use the whole thing in a week or two weeks. But there's literally about two days left. So I'm going to be swapping it for this one. And then I'll take that one when I do like a little overnight thing. Um, I always take paracetamol on holiday. I just got the cheap one. So it's like 50 p each. Um, I have tweezers, but I cannot for the life of me find any. So I bought this fun like holiday looking set of tweezers. Really cheap. I think it was like £1.50. And then I got a travel deodorant. I usually use wild deodorant, um, but I found when I was in Jamaica that it melted because it's like a bar. So I thought I'd get this one. It was only, I think it was £2.50 um, and I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't want it to melt. And then this is the face wash they recommended if I liked a foaming cleanser, which I do. And I'm hoping once I've used this up, I can then transfer this into here and take it with me in a travel size bottle instead for future. So that's what that plan is. And then, because I've got a full size Clinique product, if I got one more Clinique product, I got a bunch of freebies and the bag was so cute, so I decided to go ahead. Um, the cheapest product they had was eyeshadows and I do sell eyeshadows. I've used the shadow scents and I have done for the last six years. So I don't usually buy other makeup brands. However, um, I thought for ease of packing, instead of taking like eyeshadow brushes and everything, I can just take um, one of their shadow sticks and then blend it with my finger. I tried them all on, so these are the different shades and I decided to go for this one here. It's a little bit sparkly, but it's more like a naturally color that would go with everything. So that is called Ample Amber. So it's this like chubby shadow, shadow stick, I think they call it. Chubby, chubby stick shadow stint. <laughs> that's a tongue twister chubby stick shadow tint so that's what I got and I thought I could just put it on my eye and then like blend it out with my finger for a night and evening and the freebie was this cute little bag which I absolutely adore and then I wanted a travel size um face scrub and a travel size moisturizer and I had them in the bag originally but when I saw that I could get this for free I decided to just keep this so I've got um, a face scrub, which I won't be taking with me, but it's there if I ever want to. 
this is the moisturizer and then there is another foaming cleanser so i could take this cleanser this one was actually a swap out because they ran out of the other thing that was supposed to be in it so i should have actually just kept this one but i wanted the bottle with that one so hey ho and then this one is the take the balm off cleansing balm um i love this it's just really expensive so the the like idea is to use a norm is like to double cleanse basically so use a normal foaming cleanser and then use this one afterwards um, and then it did come with a lipstick, which I will probably give to my mum. It's a beautiful colour, to be fair. Uh, let me swatch it. But um, I just use lip scents and I can't stand the transfer of lipstick. So that's why I don't use it anymore. So I'll give that to someone. And then again, it came with a free mascara, which I will give to someone because I actually use lash scents, which is like waterproof, smudge proof, everything proof. So I won't use this one. <laughs> anyway, that was my little haul. This is the cute thing. 